Hello everyone, welcome back to another Age of Empires 4 commentary. I am Beyond, and as always, thank you so much for the all the support in the past couple videos and the channel as a whole. I still can't really believe it sometimes. Uh, if you are enjoying the content, please do subscribe, and if you're enjoying this video, please do drop a like. It helps me out immensely. Now, with that being said, let's get right into this before... I, well, I lied. Before I get right into this, I do have a special announcement. I, today, uh, as you're seeing this video on Sunday on the 28th, I will be casting live on the stream B for the EGC tournament that's happening right now. So if you want to go say hi, come in the chat, um, say, say hi, say you're from, here from YouTube. Um, super excited for this opportunity. I also casted yesterday, but I didn't, wasn't able to drop a video or announce it. It's, I also announced it on Twitter as well. So if you're not following me there, go drop a follow on that as well for any future times I will be casting in the community. This tournament has been incredible, and I can't thank EGC enough and Presti and Lidicor um, for really getting me involved. And I had a great time casting yesterday with 104 Tim, who was my co-caster. And then today, my co-caster will be Mr. Merlin. So super excited about that. Um, and yeah, come say hi if you, if you have a chance. So now, without further ado, we have... Louis MT as the green Delhi Sultan on the far right side of the map. And on the left side, we have PCS Chuck Francis. Louis MT has been doing absolute bits in this current tournament, um, doing super, super well, um, known for his great micro. Uh, I believe he streams or has a YouTube. I will try to link it uh, in the description if I can find it. I know I've definitely found it in the past. And then PCS Chuck Francis, I've seen him a few times. I've been casting the Rising Empires League. Um, he's a pretty solid player. Um, have really enjoyed casting him so far. PCS is the French team uh, that we mentioned when I believe I casted PCS Choom. Um, so it seems like they're an up and coming team. Super excited to see what they can do uh, in the scene as a whole. Um, and they will be and the French organization player will be playing the French today. With that being said. The current win rate in Challenger and above, the French have a 52.3% win rate, but only 120, 172 games. And the overall um, win rate for this matchup against the Delhi Sultanate is 48.7% for the French over about 552 games. So sample size is not huge, so I wouldn't take anything too, too much to heart. But um, that being said, it seems still pretty even. Um, it's definitely dependent on the map. The Delhi Sultanate are obviously going to have to try to get out and get these sacred sites. But the French will have a lot of map control with those early knights. But, JK, PCS Chuck Francis is going for that Chambers of Commerce. So we might see some trade. This map is pretty good for trading. And the Delhi Sultanate are obviously going to be trying to focus mainly on these sacred sites. So there might be some um, an avenue in there to get up some trades going. We do see the standard Tower of Victory going down for Louis MT. This is going to be juice up those and then, um, infantry, those archers, which is always pretty amazing. Um, and the attack speed buff makes those archers so, so deadly early on, which is why we see so many of them out of the Delhi players, and which is why they're notoriously known as the English killers. Um, they can produce so quickly when you pop an imam in there, and then you can kind of go um, from there. Sorry, not an imam. It is a scholar. Whew. I gotta get better with these small little nuances. I'm trying to get better at that for casting overall, as well as I do more and more events, which I'm super, super excited about. And if you guys ever, um, if you know of an event that you think I should be casting for, uh, let me know. I'll definitely put my hat in the ring. Or if you ever want to cast me to cast any of your games, you can always send them in to the email in the link of the description. Um, which will be, I would love to cast more of my subscribers' games, so please do send them in. Um, even if it's just your overall portfolio, I'd be happy to take a look whenever you have a banger of a game to come in and give you the due recognition that you deserve um, for that victory and or loss. I'll do, I'll do either one. If it's a great game, it's a great game. So Tower of Victory has been popped for Louis MT over here, and we just have, um, we have more traders being popped out here for... Um, the Chamber of Commerce. Obviously, with this Chamber of Commerce, every time they produce a um, economic technology, they get a free scholar. So you already see the wheelbarrow coming out. We now see these specialized picks. I'm sure we'll also see the forestry, the double broad axe, as much as possible to get this trade cooking. I believe Louis MT has seen this, um, but if he hasn't, the scout will now see this trade line anyways. It's almost like he is anticipating trade because he's probably seen this. At this point, I was missed his scout when he came over here. 
We have the Archer range coming out for Chuck Francis, which I think is, is going to be in retaliation to the inevitable Archer range. Oh, we have Barracks coming out, going into the wood line. I mean, this is a pretty standard um, play against the French. Um, obviously, they assume that Knights are going to be coming out, which is pretty much is what makes the French so, so powerful at the current moment. Those early Knights are just so pivotal. But we do see what's in the town center. Chuck, what do we what do we got in here? Why why are there two why are there two friends in here? Are they is he trying to hide the traders? Did the traders just go over there? Are they not ready to go out in the map yet? I think this is the this would be the ideal time to get them out and about, get the boys loose, get them trading. Um, yeah, it looks like there's gonna be trading in there, um, and they're gonna be just heading into the town center. I'm not really sure the thought process behind not letting them out, um, because now he now Louis MT sees this. He should be stopping production over here. He'll probably let this one finish, and then he'll be done, um, knowing that, that there's no danger immediately coming his way for those juiced-up French knights. Um, huh. I'm a little bit confused um, as to why these are not trading at this point. Um, but... That being said, I did remember um, the build orders for you guys to make sure that they're coming out. Here comes the French Knights now. They're finally coming out. We have a stable on the map. The trader goes in there as well, and we're now producing another one. And now we have Louis MT pushing out to get secure at these sacred sites as you would have imagined. And here we go. And finally, finally, I just, I want to say I was at a loss for words. Finally, the boys have been released and they're out and I'm out trading. I feel like we could have gotten three or four trades off before those, those happen, but that's totally okay. And this is something definitely interesting with all these spears. Louis MT was able to take those, that sweet, sweet map control as well. And... Now it's going to be one of those things now where uh, Louis MT is going to have enough map control to probably harass these traders as well, which as you can see, he's going to be doing this with his horseman. Just getting the horseman has bigger issues. He wants to go and defend against this knight. This is not looking good for the French player. Um, these archers should be firing upon this one right in that south forest. It's super, super important to get archers though, because as you can see how much damage they really do. Um, but unfortunately there's going to be a horseman out in the map, which is going to make it very, very hard. This knight's going to be focusing down this scholar, which is huge. And let's see if they get one more poke off and they do. Ah, oh, there's like so many auto attack cancels. It feels like we're truly in a, um, MOBA or RTS game with all those cancels, um, going on. But as you can see, now the boys are full. They're, let's see, they have six, they're carrying packages of 63 back home so every time these guys make this successful trip it's going to be super super important we already have three french knights out on the map so they're going to have pretty good protection back here chuck francis is moving out to get these deer as well but now we have a pretty sizable squad for the horsemen we have we have four already on the map with five spears so they're going to cause a lot of havoc for this trade at the current moment and that with that all that going on Louis MT is going to take advantage of that and go and capture this sacred site up top. And now the knights are starting to move out. I'm assuming they're going to go after this sacred site or maybe try to go after this one, but they're not going to get there in time. Uh, and that being said, now there's also villagers being gone down as this kind of aggressive deer pack was taken. It's unfortunate there's not really many much good food around him. I guess he could have taken this berries over here or these berries up top. But unfortunately for the French player, they're super dependent on outside food resources. And Louis MT, with very minimal investment, can get a lot of good value. Already two villagers going down. But as you can see, with the French passive um, ability to make um, villagers that much quicker, they produce them in 17 seconds, and the Delhi produces them in 20 seconds. So ha that has added up to about a six villager lead, even with the two kills. But PCS Chuck Francis is doing an excellent job at tracking down these scholars. Now, Louis MT was able to secure 
the bread that <laughs> secure the bag over here on this one. They didn't finish the wall in, which is unfortunate. So these lads are going to be trapped until you do that little bit of extra work. You got to finish your work and then you can get out. But Louis MT also has a full wall in for this one, so it's only a matter of time before he takes this third sacred site. And then the inevitable will come into over here. I love this wall in coming up here for Chuck Francis to protect this trade. And honestly, with five knights in trade going on, I'm sitting in a very, very good spot. Louis MT is showing how good that micro really is. We were talking about it on the cast yesterday a lot um, as I casted one of his series. Um, such a good micro focused player, but also has the macro to back it up. And as you can see, all these actions per minute are leading up into another villager kill. And it looks like we're going to get one more as well. One more Commando Pro poke. Per usual on this channel, we're going to zoom in on the spoilers of war, the victors, if you will, the Delhi Sultanate right off into the sunset, getting another villager kill. We're up to four. And then Louis is also building quite a sizable force. But honestly, it's kind of funny that usually it's the French that are doing all these dives, but these knights are staying stationary and stagnant over here. In comparison, Louis MT is in his bag of tricks right now, really doing a lot. But Chuck Francis is staying in this game because of these beautiful traders right here. Unfortunately, they were stagnant for about a minute inside the town center. It looks like we are housed as well. Um, as you can see, always get those villagers in. But Louis MT has secured another sacred site. And once he gets one more, he's going to be in a really, really good position. And... Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. So we see the Ram technology coming out. I think Louis senses that he has the superior army for sure. And the next thing he knows is he just needs to take out this trade. And once he takes out this trade, he can be in a really, really good spot. So here he goes. He's going to go after this trade. And the the beautiful byproduct of is that he's showing aggression on this side of the map to take out the trade, which is one of the issues with trade. But um, it's also protecting him the four position of getting this sacred site as well. And now all these trades are susceptible. If these go down, I think this is going to be a quick GG uh, for PCS Chuck Francis. Try something unique. Try something a little bit different. Uh, I don't think it, it works super well. Um, obviously, it was one of those things where it could start to really pay off. And here's the final battle. Um, but just never really got to that critical mass point of those traders. And that idle time of those traders really was something else. Let me know if I'm missing something in the comments that I'm just like going nuts. But I can't think of any reason why those bad boys were sitting still. And the knights are over here. Where, I mean, we're definitely concerned elsewhere. But those knights have got to be doing a little bit more. They are getting some villager kills, which is very, very nice. Um, but I just think a little bit too late at this point. And as I mentioned before... This map is very food starved and now that Louis has control over this side and this huge deer pack is no longer in the cards, we're going to have to see a farm transition is what we're seeing, but it's already too late if you're just switching to a farm transition in response. These knights are going down, not able to keep up with all of the good APM from Louis MT and that is also the cheekiness of taking this gold mine back here as well. And it's looking very, very in a tough spot for Chuck Francis because now that trade is back online. We have a little bit going, um, but it's going to be constantly under attack and pressured. And we have the compound of the defender going down as well for Louis MT. So even transitioning this early aggression into that um, into that quick castle age, we're securing some berries, which is very nice. But they had to make the long journey all the way across the bottom side of the map, which is not ideal with all those buckets and baskets. Sorry, there's no buckets. No one has buckets yet. But all those baskets um, making the, the giant migration all the way, trying to wall off completely. The only issue with walling off something this large with not the most mobile of armies ever. And the knights, there we go, get a nice run on, the, on these horsemen, which is very nice. And now the knights can go over... Some missed micro there, which is super unfortunate. But it does look like the Knights can get in onto this back line. But there's not really that many of them. There's only four on the map. I can't see what the other two are. But it looks like this overwhelming force. The Delhi have hit a critical mass of archers. So they're, they're just one-shotting everything that they take a shot at. And you can see just how useful that um, Tower of Victory actually is. You can just see how fast they shoot in comparison to the other friends. And it looks like... That is going to be it. It's one of those ones where it looks like someone probably just disconnected or something like that instead of getting that beautiful victory screen. 
Um, it, sometimes it, it glitches out like that. But thank you so much. Uh, I know that wasn't the most riveting of game plays ever, but it was just an absolute clinic by Louis MT. And I really wanted to show some Delhi players of how to get that early control uh, and really just establish yourself into any really matchup. Louis MT was also playing it, so he played it beautifully that he was preparing for both scenarios, as you can see. Playing um, first and foremost, always blindly going into the protection of those knights, but then use utilizing those um, early spears that he got anyways to secure that first sacred site and knowing that the tower vector is going to be super and super important. And the French player is always going to get good knights eventually, so I think it was a very good build order and path. Would re highly recommend you follow that if you are a daily player. If you're the French, yes, there is a time and place for those traders. Make sure you get them out nice and early to get that early extra gold. And on top of that, I think it is a valuable strategy to actually get it going. So PCS Chuck Francis is not able to out micro Louis MT, which is not exactly a shock as he is a top 10 player at the current moment. Um, but that being said, thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you stop by the stream later today uh, for the EGC stream B. And then if you have been enjoying, please do subscribe and I hope you have a great night.